Hello everyone, dear community, I warmly welcome you to this new video. It's great to have you here again. Today we have the most powerful chainsaw on the table here from Einhell, proudly presenting a 350mm blade, a powerful brushless motor, and a 36 volt drive. Specifically, we're talking about the Einhell GELC 3635LI. But what does this powerful cordless chainsaw really have to offer? How well does it perform, and is it worth the investment or not? That's exactly what we aim to find out in today's video. So without further ado, let's not waste any time. Let's get started right after the intro. But before we do, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to this channel for free and activate the bell icon to never miss a new video in the future. You can find the current prices for this great chainsaw in the video description below. Thank you so much for your support, and now let's get started. For those of you who are already familiar with the Einhell brand and are in need of an extremely powerful cordless chainsaw, I might have just the right thing for you today. It's this gem right here from Einhell, the GELC 3635LI. Yes, I admit, what a suboptimal name in my opinion. Nevertheless, the focus is not on the name, but rather on the specifications and features of this chainsaw. And I must say, this device definitely has a lot to offer in that regard, but more on that later. First, let's talk about the contents of the package. I've already unpacked and assembled the chainsaw for you. It comes folded up quite compactly in this cardboard box labeled as the Solo version. That means from the package we only receive the actual cordless chainsaw, the blade, and a suitable Oregon chain. The batteries and charger need to be purchased separately. So that's the package contents in a nutshell. Now let's take a closer look at the device itself. I must say, from the first impression, the device looks relatively good to me. Of course, you can immediately notice that we have a lot of simple plastic all around, but other than that, the build quality seems quite decent and sturdy. In terms of size, we have a substantial caliber here, which also means a certain weight. Nevertheless, I have to say that the chainsaw in the solo version without batteries is not too heavy in my opinion. Let's measure it real quick. As you can see, the device weighs only around 4 kilograms without batteries. That's pretty good, but at the same time, we still need two 18 volt batteries, and I would recommend using larger batteries if possible. This means here the power exchange batteries with multi ampere hours. And as you can see, with both large batteries, we have a fighting weight of around 6 kilograms. For a chainsaw of this size class, which means a 350 millimeter blade, 6 kilograms are definitely acceptable in my opinion. It should also be mentioned that the chainsaw is relatively well balanced, meaning the center of gravity is slightly behind the handle. Speaking of handles, let's take a closer look at what this chainsaw really has to offer. As you can see, right at the front, we have a wraparound handle made of black plastic. It gives a very robust impression and the chainsaw can be safely and comfortably operated in various positions. Also easily accessible from here is the chain brake, also made of black plastic. I must say it works very well and is very easy to move. Just behind it, we find the main handle of the powerful 36 volt chainsaw from Einhell. As you can see, the handle is undoubtedly large in size. This means it can be gripped very comfortably and effortlessly in my opinion. Additionally, it's rubberized in black, making it very slip resistant. On the underside, there's a simple switch to activate the saw, and on the left side, designed for right-handed users, we find the release. However, there's no release on the right side. So it might be somewhat problematic for left-handed users. Other than that, the activation of the chainsaw works quite well. The only issue, in my opinion, arises when you want to use the device continuously for a longer period of time. I must say that the release on the left side, the small button, is quite hard to operate. This means that unlocking and activating the chainsaw regularly can be uncomfortable for the thumb. In my opinion, it could be smoother. 
Just in front of it, we find the battery compartment, or rather, the battery compartments for this powerful cordless chainsaw, as it's a 36-volt device. This means we always need two 18-volt batteries from Einhell for power supply. To get the maximum performance out of this chainsaw and to have fun with the device for a while, it's advisable to use large batteries. Personally, I would recommend using the power exchange batteries with multi-ampere hours. As far as I know, these are the most powerful batteries from Einhell, and in combination with two such batteries, the device definitely has a lot of power, but more on that in the practical test later. The current prices for this are also listed in the video description below. Otherwise, as you can see, the two 18-volt batteries are inserted from the top into the machine, securely and reliably locking into the battery compartment. This position allows us to directly read the battery level on the battery itself. What else is there to see? As you can see right at the front, on the left side, is the large chain oil tank. It has a milky plastic window, so you can see how much chain oil is left in the tank. The chain is automatically lubricated with chain oil, and we have a total tank capacity of around 120 milliliters, which is definitely a positive feature. Let's turn the device around and take a look at the extremely practical feature of this chainsaw. The Einhell chainsaw doesn't have a hexagonal nut for mounting the blade or tensioning the chain as you can see. Instead, we have an extremely practical quick tensioning mechanism. It consists of two elements, the first black wheel and directly below it, the red wheel for tensioning the chain. Above them are two lock symbols. The black wheel is used to release the blade, and then we can tension or loosen the chain with the red wheel. From my experience, I can say that Einhell has done a really good job with the quick tensioner. I have to admit that I was initially skeptical, but in hindsight, I can say that this tensioning mechanism works really well, saves time, and requires no tools to tension or change the chain. Speaking of the chain, as I mentioned before, the package includes a high-quality saw chain from Oregon that matches the chainsaw. It has a total of 52 drive lengths, a 3 8 inch pitch, and a guide bar groove width of 1.1 millimeters, which is typical for a chainsaw of this size class. It's powered by a powerful brushless motor, which ensures that we achieve a chain speed of around 15 meters per second. In combination with the proud 350 millimeter blade, this allows for a lot of practical possibilities. In the practical test, I initially tested the chainsaw on relatively small logs up to 130 millimeters, which posed no problem for this powerful 36 volt device. For this reason, I then tackled slightly larger logs up to approximately 200 millimeters in diameter and behold, the same results as before. That means a very precise, very clean cut and more than enough power. To push the chainsaw to its limits, I tested it on the largest log I could find with a proud diameter of 340 millimeters, and I have to say, the chainsaw had a tough time here, mainly because we couldn't fully utilize the 350 millimeter blade, but only had 330 millimeters available in practice. But I have to say, the 340 millimeters were definitely possible, and as you can see, there were no issues with the performance. This means that with the powerful brushless motor and the high-capacity 36-volt drive in conjunction with the large multi-ampere hour batteries, the device has so much power that it was able to cut through the large 340 millimeter log in no time without any difficulties. And I must say, the overload protection did not kick in at any point during the test. And let's not forget, due to the fairly large batteries, the chainsaw also has quite good endurance. After all the cuts, I performed dozens more on the dimensional lumber, and after the test, the battery still had a pretty good remaining charge. By the way, if you're interested, I'll link the detailed field test up here on the info card. So that's it for this powerful 36-volt chainsaw from Einhell. I have to say, I am definitely positively impressed by this device, both in terms of its features, such as the quick tensioning mechanism, and of course, its performance in practice. For those who are looking for an extremely powerful tool in the Einhell lineup, especially with a 350mm blade, I would definitely recommend this chainsaw without hesitation. Now it's your turn. What do you think of this powerful chainsaw from Einhell? Have you had any experience with this device? Feel free to write your comments down below. I'm very interested in your feedback and experiences. 
And that wraps up this video. If you liked it, please show your support with a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for free and activate the notification bell so you'll never miss a new review video. The current prices can be found in the video description below. Thank you so much for your support and until next time, take care. Goodbye.